Today I'm going to share how to add in UI animation and perspective mockups in After Effects. Here we have the assets and the first one is the device background. Then we have a screen mask to put the motion into. Here we have another version of the background with red screens for guidance. And here we have the UI flow that we're going to put in. Alright, go into After Effects, add in some folders and structure. I'm adding a folder called Assets, one Image, another one called Video, and then I call one underscore X Comps to make it placed in the top. Placed all the assets into a folder, and then now I'm ready to go into my Finder view and drag in all my assets. Next step, I'm adding a main composition for everything to go into. In this case, it's a dribble shot dimension. Also naming it in the same dimensions so I know which one. I go down in duration and change this to 20 seconds for now. Then I place that one in the comps folder. And now I'm also color coding some layers for better structure. I'm adding in the reference background. On top of that, I add in the mockup background. And then I drag down the UI motion file into this icon down there to make a composition out of it. The next, I switch to my mobile workspace. I drag in the mask background. And then I go into the motion layer in the bottom. And in trick mat, I choose alpha mat. And this will mask the UI into the frame. Then I go back to the presentation view and here I drag in the UI composition. It's now masked into the iPhone frame with the notch and everything. I place it above and shrink it down to appropriate size. And now for the key moment, we go up into the menu in effects, distort and choose corner pin. And this will allow you to transform this layer into any perspective you want. So now we're going to drag and uh, adjust this perspective to the device itself. And to make it easier, I'm going to enable the background version with red screens to guide me to the perfect placement. And then once uh, one is complete, I basically duplicate this layer resetting the corner pins and starting to adjust this one to the next device. And there we go, it looks pretty good. But now instead of having the same motion flow on both of these devices, I want to split them up in 50% each to make it more interesting. So let's scrub through the layers here and see where we want to break it. We do Command Shift D to split it. We're going to time and then freeze frame. And that's going to basically freeze the frame on the right part of this split layer. Then we go into the green right motion. We do the same thing. Split it, go into time and freeze frame. And then we drag that to match where that split is. And there we go. Now we are going to double check so everything looks great. It starts on the overview page on the left. It goes into evolution. Then the right phone takes over into the suit details where you swipe two times. So that's basically it. This is a really great way to add in your designs and motion in three dimensional space without doing any actual 3D work. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Follow for more and I will see you very soon again.